Hello everybody, I'm Jesse on and welcome to Dream Quest. What is Dream Quest? Why am I playing why am I playing this game? Looks like a mobile game. It actually is a mobile game. Uh, but it's got a port to I just recently found out it has a port to uh, you know PC and Mac. Um, I've actually been this is actually a game I've played on my on my old iPhone for a long time. Um, until my old iPhone died and I traded it in for an Android. And I recently rediscovered rediscovered it. I've been playing it on my iPad and tonight I just found that it there is a humble widget for it. Humble bundle widget. You can buy it for PC and Mac. And it's also got a Steam Greenlight page that I'll probably link you to. It'll have the demo on there for it. Now, what is this game? This game is a really, really good deck building dungeon crawling RPG. I'll just show you right here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete new game. Um, first thing you'll notice, the graphics maybe aren't the best. Maybe, you know, you know, maybe the maybe way, one way I would describe them is um, simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. But don't let that fool you. Like, this game is it has got the goods. And, okay. So what do we do? We roll around we explore this dungeon. I like to explore around everything, find all the dead ends that I can to start with. You'll notice there's a few different enemies here. We've got a mage, a disciple of chaos, and this kobold. And they each have different levels. Like it'll the dungeons are all randomly generated. These are stores. You'll only, you know, we need gold to buy them. I have no gold here. You have your stats. You have your health. This is your experience bar. This is gold. This is the amount of mana you start with in a battle. Playing a warrior, clearly we need no we need no stinking mana. Uh, this is the number of actions, which are green cards that you can play on your turn. And then this is the number of cards that you draw at the start of your turn. And each class also has a special ability, like the fighter can smash. So we can smash a wall like every few every few fights. And that was a great idea because we found a treasure chest. Colossus Smash. If you have no action, the green cards in play deal eight damage, lose all your um, lose all your action points. So eight damage, that's really good, especially for us because we don't use those. And here's an action card. Do we want it? I don't know yet. We'll leave that one in here for now. Let's fight this mage. Here's where the real thing starts. So you have your red cards, which are just standard attacks. You have your, these are brown cards, these are equipment, so you play them and they put off to the side. Deal one damage for every two attack cards, that's the red ones, that you play in a turn. So right now we're only going to play one card because so it won't do anything, but we dealt one damage. Attack for one deals one damage. We click on this to end our turn. And we'll just end this right here. <laughs> like, either, either card will end this fight right now. One thing that I like about this game... UI is actually pretty easy to understand. Like you can just click on a card and it tells you exactly what this card does. This is a level two attack card, it'll deal two damage. Colossus Smash tells you exactly what it does. Even your status effects you can easily just click on. Physical damage dealt is reduced by one. So if we play this attack, we'll only deal one damage because we're like, we're somewhat frozen or whatever. Instead of dealing two damage, we'll only deal one. So when we, we'll just play this and kill him. One gold, one experience. It's about what you expect from that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. If we decide that we don't, that it's not gonna do us any good, then we can we can delete it later. Over here, click on this. Your book. This is your current deck. Fighter starts out with a lot of attacks, mostly ones, a sword, and then I added the kick and the colossus smash from those treasure chests. This is our. Um, like a heal we can pick up. Unfortunately we ran out of level 1 monsters to fight, so we'll go ahead and fight this kobold that's level 2. Co goblins use them like miners use canaries. If the kobolds start dropping, there must be adventures about. So we'll go ahead and do a kick. They coward. Each monster, also each, each class and each monster has a different feel about it. So like, 
the kobold's gonna cower. It'll it'll block. It has a chance to block every uh, every chance, or it has a chance to block any attacks that we play, any damage that we deal. But then the the reaction cards are discarded. play like that. He has out guards. He has a card. He played that. So there we go. We managed to win. And then we leveled up. So we get four health for level two. We can choose to upgrade two cards from our deck from level one to level two or whatever, or gain six more health. And I'm going to choose the upgrades. I'm going to upgrade that and that. So now this attack one will become attack two, and this attack two will become attack three. Alright, here's a Goblin Hoarder. It's level 1. I think we get less experience for fighting level 1 enemies, but whatever. It's worth it. So he cowered. He he dodged our attack. Let's try a kick. And we attack him. There we go. Yeah, we only get one experience point for level 1 enemies. So here's our boss. We don't want to fight him yet. That ooze is level 3. The clone is level 4 and elite. So that means he's like he's gonna be tougher, maybe not as tough as the boss, but pretty tough. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try. I'm gonna try smashing through here. That didn't do anything. Um, let's see, is there anything we can buy? Frost slash. Any of the elemental damage? You know, it's got the four elements: fire, water, earth, air. Elemental ones, the level one will do two damage. So it's it, they're twice as powerful as just normal attacks. You can see here, the level three flame slash will deal six damage. Poison daggers and equipment. For every two attack cards you play in a turn, your opponent becomes poisoned. And even you can even click on poison and it tells you what poison does. Or click on equipment and it tells you what it does. So poisoned, they take one damage at the start of their turn. For, that's for every poison level, so if they have four poison levels, they take four damage, and then the poison becomes poison three instead. Like, the game is really well done. Like, it's got some developer art, but a lot of what... A lot of the developer art reminds me of, like, when I was a kid and I would play... Oh, I can't even play this, see, because I played the action card, so that was silly of me. But we can hold on to it next round. But it reminds me of like the old shareware games I'd play as a kid on my Performa or my iMac. And I'm like, I can way get behind that sort of thing. And the gameplay itself is so, is like, it's really good. At least it, it hits all everything that I like, that an, it, I would like in a game. That even if I hated the art style, I would still, I would still be playable. So we've got an ability, and this is, um, Draw a temporary copy of the next card that you play. So if we have a really strong card in our hand, we use this, we play the card, and we get the same card again. Oh, I've got some... Excuse me there. Um, we can either get two mana or an additional action per round. Both of these aren't really helpful for us, but I'm going to take the action because action cards are more useful than, than magic cards for our warrior. Healing pool, so we can heal max, which we don't need. We can heal once for free at these at these oasises, and then after that, it's one gold per HP. Uh, so let's go after this. Nope, no, that's no, that's a level four. Let's go after the ooze. Hungry for new friends. Let's play this. He has regen, and then the card, the special card that he has, is digest. Opponent exiles a card at random from their hand, so card that we drew is gone, we'll never see it again this fight. So we'll do an attack, kick, we'll do this. Now warrior isn't my favorite class to play of the base four, I think actually thief is, which is weird because I hate playing thieves in general, but um, I figured I'd just show you the warrior as the start, and if we die we can like move on, try playing the thief as well. I was originally going to record some more Stellaris this morning, but I decided, you know what, hey, I found this, and like, I'm going to share this game. So 
So the orc has a sword. He has two swords. So for every two attack cards he plays, he deals two damage to us. Just two extra damage. Alright, now we get an extra additional card per turn. We can choose get six health or upgrade two cards in our deck. I'm going to choose the upgrade. Um, here we go, we're going to upgrade those. Ooh, treasure chest. So this is a spell. This is going to be useful <laughs> for someone else. Now I'm going to smash through this wall. Nope, that didn't do anything. Let's take on the clone. Kick him. We're going to throw our attacks at him. We can actually just click play all, but I don't think to ever do that. But yeah, like... A card-based, um, you know, a deck-building game, roguelike, um, oh hey, exploration-focused, sort of, and then, um, and then, like, a real focus on the deck-building. Speaking of, a big part of deck-building is deleting cards, and at the monastery, you can delete a card for free, which will be this attack. It could also be the kick. I could get rid of that one. That would also be good. Alright, nothing else over here. We'll heal up. Let's we'll see if there's anything we want to buy. Dancing Scimitar. At the beginning of your turn, deal three damage to your opponent. Or some of these. Um, I'm going to get... Well, these are basically the same. It's just what element do I want. I'll get the Flame Slash. we go over here. Um, could get another Colossus Smash. Let's let's do that. And now we're gonna fight the Magma Dawn. Evolve to overcome a meteor. So he takes no damage from fire. Each time your opponent plays an action, attacks mana or spell card, deal one fire damage to them. So maybe fire wasn't the best choice, but I haven't run into this guy in a while. So I didn't remember how to play against him. So. We'll just do this as best we can. We're going to keep getting hit every turn. You know, I take one fire damage at the start of each turn. It kind of becomes like a DPS race. Bosses can be hard. You really have to... Yeah, he's not going to take any damage from that at all. We just took a damage, so that was dumb of me. Alright, so we'll do this. Do this. All right. So we will win. We get a lot of stuff. All right. We want to get an equipment slot. So now our sword starts in play automatically. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this kick. Yeah, it's not particularly useful. Let's see if I can buy anything else. Nothing there. Get level one frost slash, and let's get the dancing scimitar. And you know what? We'll unequip that and equip the dancing scimitar. So, at the start of our turn, every turn, our opponent takes three damage. Everything around you is filled with light. The only break is in the fluffy white clouds that tickle your nose as they pass by. Wait, clouds? Foolishly, you look down into nothing, only sky as far as the eye can see. You wave your arms wildly, hoping that can somehow predict keep you from plummeting to your doom. Your companion laughs at your predicament. Hey genius, if you weren't falling already, did you really think a chicken dance was going to help? Huh, I guess you're not falling after all. On the downside, it looks like all those monsters aren't falling either. A voice carries to you over the light breeze. Beware the lord of the dream. He has enormous ears and a devastating sneeze. When he dances, thoughts wither and die. His will bends time. Stay far away. Cool. And then, at the start of every level, we can choose a talent. Equipment slot, 5 health, an action, 30 gold, 2 mana, or an upgrade. I'm going to choose to upgrade a card. We'll upgrade that attack. We don't have anywhere to go, unless we want to smash. Let's go ahead and smash down here. Hey, that was actually a pretty good idea. So we've got Wisps, Trolls, Harpy, and a Goblin Hoarder. Let's go ahead and take this Goblin Hoarder out. So he cowered. That's the first thing he did. He blocked our three damage, which means he probably wanted to block any of these. 
we baited out another cower with our weak attack. We smash it. There we go. We'll explore around a bit. There's actually a lot of space around here. Whoops. So we ran into this person. Level 6 Usuri Ambusher, Silent Still Stalking. They can... They're, these Usuri, the cat people, their ability is they prevent the first card that you play every turn. So we'll just get rid of that and then try to get past it. But they're two levels above us. We may not actually win. So, let's see here. Alright, so we'll start by playing that. That's our weakest attack. And then we have this. And I'm going to activate my ability. Use the Colossus Smash and then use it again. For an easy victory because we kind of needed it. Heal up. That's one of the dangers of exploring after that first level. Um, so let's go on and take the Harpy, Vile in Manner and Odor. Also play Sword. Um, it's not like the equipment cards don't replace each other, they stack, so both of them are in play. They won't, they don't cancel each other out, despite being one sitting on top of the other. There we go, easy fight. Alright, so we got a new ability. Draw three cards. We can just activate the ability to draw three cards. We're going to upgrade our deck some more. There we go. Ooh, and we got a treasure chest. Periapt of Protection. You are immune to damage on your turn. Yeah, sure. We'll take it. We'll take out this troll. Troll abilities. Doesn't like you tromping around. He has regen of two every turn. That was easy. Just pick up gold. We'll fight the Wisp. Wisp has Light in the Wild, Flickering Radiantly, Follow to your Doom, Take no damage from physical. So these are gonna do nothing. Literally nothing. But this will do pretty alright. To be honest, I probably should have picked up a thing there. I should have used my uh, combat ability on that. We'll play that. These can't do anything. We're just cycling through cards right now, hoping to get our... I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Nope, didn't do anything. But we'll probably, yep, there's our flame slash, so if we don't die, we died. So that's game over. But that's not the end of the game. You can see here, got a global high score, because that's the first time we've played the game on here. There's 10 classes to unlock, 31 talents to unlock, which are the three passives, or 18 passives to unlock, and then 50 extra cards to unlock. There's a lot of unlocks, so it, you, it's kind of the reason to keep playing at it. It goes pretty short, especially at first when you're not too good and don't know what all the monsters do. Like, we shouldn't have fought that Wisp. There, like, there was little chance we would win, because we do physical damage, and it's immune to all physical damage. So, die once, gain access to a talent on the first floor. So in our next game, before we, can, before we do anything else, we'll get a chance to get a talent. Deal 200 damage, we start with 3 additional gold. Defeat the Magmadon, we get the Cloak of Flame card. Delete a card from your deck, gain access to the Crumble talent and reach the second floor, you get an additional health on level up. So let's go again. Let's play again. Just checking my phone real quick there. You have difficulty choices. Um, I'm gonna play on the default difficulty. I can't imagine really wanting to play on Velociraptor at this point. Kitten, you get no achievements, so there's no point. 
And on this one, you get double achievement points and find additional content at the end of the game. So I'd wait until we actually like beat the end of the game to play that. Um, but the achievement points are interesting. You get this up here, the 78, it's like equal to your score. And you use it to just like, if you can't, just can't manage to get to an achievement, you can, and you just like end up grinding all these points up, you can just unlock it. So we can either die 100 times, or we can get a thousand achievement points and unlock the achievement for free. Or, no, not for free, but without having to put in the effort. There are a lot of achievements. You like, unlock all the... Unlock Ranger class, like, each achievement does something. It's some sort of unlock, or gives you a boon. You'll not only get better as you play, but you'll also get, like, better stuff to help you along even further. But you'll also get... So, not only will you get stuff to help you along even further, but you'll learn what everything does. And you'll become a lot better at arranging your... Building your deck and, and knowing which fights to go for. We're gonna play... We're gonna play as the thief, just one more time here. Thief's ability is to find treasure. Every four combats, you can uncover a treasure chest, which is really good. Um, so for our talent, the new one here is Crumble. All the walls on this dungeon floor are removed, so let's try it out. We'll find a treasure, we'll open her up. Storm Slash, that's pretty good. See here, the thief starts with two action cards. Deal the damage and draw a card. Explore a bit around here. Oops. Didn't really need to do that. Hey, yeah, there's a treasure. Backstab. Deal one damage plus one for each action card. That's a really good one for the thief. Alright, so now we've uncovered everything. We can just sort of start going one by one. We'll start with the zombie. Like a toddler, tries to make friends by biting. First thing we want to do is play this slice. Gives us a card, deals a damage. And then we'll want to play the backstab, which deals not one, but two damage because we have a green card. And that's just like, the thief is really fun to play with these sort of combos. Eventually you get a lot of really good ones. Here's a zombie specific card. Zombie Bite, your opponent gains 5 ranks of Diseased. When this counter reaches 0, you die. Here we go. But we beat the zombie, so that so we don't need to worry. This right here is an upgrade station. Like, we'll upgrade this. And then after this, so the first time is free, after that it takes gold. There's a priest. Kobold, that's the boss. Goblin level 4, mage level 1, we'll fight him. So we do a slice, and we'll attack, and then we'll backstab, and that's it. And that, oh, goodbye, mage. Don't even give you a chance to do anything. Circle is a really good one. So we'll want to take this. Draw a card, gain one action. At the end of your turn, draw a card and gain one action. It basically, like, super, super cycles our deck. And then also we can use it for our backstab to gain even more powerful. Uh, we'll take on this priest. So slice, draw a card, backstab, double attack. Now the priest, and this is the same for the priest um, adventurer as well, they get these prayers. They get spells, but they also get prayers, which you set a counter on, and when the counter reaches zero, you something happens based on how many counters were on it. Like, on this one, it deals damage based on how many counters started with. It started with three, so at the end of the three counter, I would take nine damage. But that's not gonna happen. Priests are kinda hard to play. Fight this kobold. Here we go, slice. And he cowered. Attack, and then attack. So here's our circle. So you can see we just we get another card and our actions didn't go down. Which is pretty great. Find treasure is ready. 
So we got Avoidance, prevent all damage until your next turn. Delete a card from our deck or gain an additional action. Definitely gain an additional action. Alright, so we want the Circle. Static Charge, we'll come back later for, maybe. We'll get rid of one of these one attacks. Maybe asking, like, why would you get rid of a card? Well, I get rid of a weak card so that I have a better chance of getting a stronger card later. That's sort of just like an element of how these deck building games work. That's the way that you want to do them. Storm Slash, Backstab. More cards. Slice, Attack, Attack. Vampire Bat, obviously. Wishes it could be a real vampire. Also gets, uh access to a Vampire Bite card, 2 damage and gain 2 health. So it can be kind of a pain. So we'll circle it, and then we'll slice it, and then we'll backstab it, and he's gone. So our backstab did 3 damage, our slice did 1 damage, and we could draw a card from it. Alright, so we're level 3 right now. So we're gonna have to fight probably the Goblin and hope he gives us 4 XP. Slice. But I really like playing as the thief with all the actions. It's a lot of fun. I probably should have healed, huh? That was dumb of me. I'm gonna prevent all damage and hope I can get something good. Circle. Circle. Slice. There we go. We want another backstab or do we want to gain 5 health? I think I'll gain 5 health. Let's buy some stuff. Healing Potion is a one use card. So once you use it, it's removed from your deck permanently. It can be useful, it's also cheap. Um, I'm, I'm gonna buy another circle. Great Bow is good, but we can't get it. Swiftness is really good. Gain two and draw a card. And then this one. This, instead of a card, just gives us an action as an upgrade. So that's also really good. So I'm not going to buy anything yet. We're going to fight the boss and see what he gives us. Alright, circle. Nothing special else, so we'll get this. He takes no damage from Earth, the vampire. Not at all sparkly. So if we have, like, any poison, that won't do any good. Also, he makes us discard cards. Circle. Slice. Circle. Slice. Come on. S come on, backstab. Oh, I have a backstab already. So this, Storm Slash, Attack 2, and boom, 6 damage. We've got a lot of cards in our hand because of all the circles that we played. Alright, so we're definitely going to play some more backstabs and then attack two. And there we go. Defeated the vampire. Gain 15 gold or a jab. Deal one damage, draw a card, gain, a, gain an action. Yeah, that sounds good. Things that make you draw cards are pretty great, especially ones that make you draw cards and get actions because they're basically free. Like, they kind of clog up your deck, but when you play them, you get a free action anyway. You get a free action and you draw a card anyway, so it's just, there's no reason to not have them in there, at least in my mind. I'm sure there's reasons not to. Oh wait, nope. We're gonna buy stuff. Um, we're gonna buy the action. And why not buy the healing potion? I don't think we can get anything else. Maybe the Storm Slash, yeah, we or the Frost Slash, yeah, we'll get that. Down we go. Groggly, you take note of your surroundings. It's hot, almost furnace-like, and the ground beneath you is moving. In fact, all around you, many volcanoes erupt every few seconds. Rivers of lava running past your feet. Foul-smelling smoke fills the air, stinging your eyes and burning your nose. But from the gurgling of the lava, you can make out a faint voice. Beware the lord of the dream, he has a hundred ears and a devastating sneeze. When he dances, thoughts wither and die. His skin shatters swords, nothing can defeat him. 
Um, you know what? We'll take the health. We have ooze, goblin mechanics. We'll take on these two. They're a level below us right now. Free card. Free card that gives us bonus damage. Alright, he ate our card. That's fine. He ate the right one for me. See, I don't want to play this healing potion because it'll be gone. And I'm like, I'm nearly at full health. That's for when we've, uh, we're desperate. Alright, this is a spell. It's not going to do any good. We'll just discard it. But I don't feel bad, too bad because it was a free chest. Alright, Linda's Lemonade gives you the opportunity to just get stats. So I can take free health, free experience, or free mana. We don't want mana. Do we want the health or the experience? I think at this point, we're kind of like, we're right now we're a bit over leveled, so we don't need the experience. We'll take the health, and then of course we can buy more later. We'll take on this guy, the Mechanist. We're gonna go ahead and just discard that, so that I don't accidentally play it. So this guy, half the time brilliant, half the time on fire, half the time both. Every time your opponent plays an attack card, deal two fire damage to them. Copies equipment you play. Also, he has a chance to tinker and generate like a coke, like some other sort of equipment. And goblins always get goblin allies, which deal an extra damage at the start of their turn. So we'll circle, we'll circle again, we'll jab, and we'll attack and backstab. There's like a lot of sneaking around and beating stuff up. This guy gets prevent the next three physical damage that would be dealt, so he has. I think he gets that like every turn because of the armor. Wow, that's pretty crappy. But this isn't physical damage. Slice. So we'll just combo everything up. And then, uh, yeah, he's pretty gone. Found a treasure chest and four experience. So what's in the treasure? It's a spell. <laughs> Stop giving us spells. We'll forget a an attack. Fire elemental. I'm gonna heal up. Do a bit of healing. We'll fight the stone golem. We get double backstabs, but this guy gets half damage from non-physical, so we want to attack him with physical when possible. It's always fun, you just keep drawing action cards and comboing them all up. That isn't to say like the other classes, like the the priest and the mage or the was it wizard aren't fun. I enjoy the wizard. The priest I I don't enjoy as much. But he's like, it's alright. The wizard can be a lot of, or the mage can be a lot of fun. These guys suck, I hate wraiths. I'm gonna fight something else instead. <laughs> Double backstab. So this guy, the clone, as you can if you might be able to guess, has the exact same deck that we do. And that's their gimmick. So we just sort of have to outmaneuver them. Hope that our deck isn't as good at taking out us as it is at taking out them. There you go, he that's the dangers of the healing potion right there. He healed up. I, I'll keep this in my hand, just in case. But um, I don't know. I'll keep it in there. You don't know what's gonna happen. All right. So circle, circle, slice, attack, attack, then backstab. And it's not enough. We can probably do a lot to us. So I'm going to go ahead and play the healing potion. I 
Yeah, that would have we would have been dead for sure. There we go. So I'm glad I kept that in my hand instead. So we got Surge. This gets us draw two cards and gain two actions on our turn. Deleter upgrade. We want to upgrade. We'll upgrade those. You know what? We'll take on the Wraith. Disembodied soul feels angry, lost, and alone. Wants to eat your face. Takes half damage from physical. So you see, these will only do one each. So then they'll discard all our cards. Deals 10 damage. Opponent discards two cards. If we had, like, any sort of, like, damage reduction or anything like that, it would block it. But we don't. Oh, or I'll give her those two. Pretty much hate them. They don't they don't ever die. And we have to deal with this nonsense every turn. I would have gotten rid of the frost slash, but that's one of the few ways we can actually deal damage to them. we do it? Yeah, 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 I think we did it. And we get treasure. It better not be just like... Oh, Frost Slash is good. This one has Jab. That's also really good. So we'll keep it. We'll take on this guy. He's a level below us, so hopefully we can just take him out. But he does have resistance to these cards we just picked up. Circle. Alright, come on, big combos. Big combos. Yeah. Big combos. Boom. Look at that, double backstabs. Crush. Destroy an equipment card if you do deal three damage. Oh, sure. We'll try it out. There's a troll. I want to heal, though. What is this thing? That's our boss, Chromatic Demon. What's this thing? Fire elemental. Um, we'll get some of this experience. We'll buy some health as well. After that, it gets kind of like money intensive. It gets expensive to do that. Bleed. Draw a card. Gain one. Your opponent becomes poisoned one. That's really good. Charm. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose a card from it. They discard that card. Also really good. Kind of think I want the bleed. Jeremy adds Chris. When you play an attack card, deal one damage for every two action cards in play. Oh, that one's really good. Take on the golem again. Golems are alright right now. But I hope I, that um, I've shown you some cool stuff. I'll leave a link to the... Um... Oh, Crush didn't do me any good. But it did give me extra damage on this. I'll leave a link to the um, Greenlight page, which also has a link to a demo on it. So you can try the game out for yourself. I got the full version, which I managed to find through like searching around a widget on... Um... like searching for widget on the guy's Twitter account um, and of course you can always pick up the game on iOS oh my gosh we're gonna die for sure unless there's like a health potion or something we can buy doesn't look like it oh boy I think we're gonna be we're gonna be dead on this one. So they take double damage from water, which I think we have a lot of water cards, and we don't have any fire cards. I'm gonna go all out here, start drawing these things. Just see, hopefully I can get some huge combos going with it.
All right, I'm gonna have to do this. Crush doesn't do any good yet. Okay, but that did. Woo! All right, and we leveled up, which re -heal which heals us completely. Dice, deal two damage for each action card in play. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, all right, we're gonna take on this troll. We'll make you bleed. Circles, slices. Crush isn't gonna do us any good here, so we'll do this. No, bleed actually seems kinda weak. Except it's like draw a card, game one. But otherwise it is just kind of weak. I'll go ahead and discard that. I don't think the troll has any equipment. Go jab, jab, dice. I should have used slice first. Um, frost slash. Storm slash, backstabs. That was a good turn. Ooh, more treasure. Oh, and we have our treasure here as well. Open her up. Stone skin, gain damage reduction too until your next turn. That's a good one. Oh, that's a mimic. This chest feists you. Stone skin, jab, jab, slice, dice, attack. Take that chest. We'll heal up. Alright, so... Oh, here's an altar. Altar to Jeremiad. A rough gray altar leans against the wall. Dried blood cakes the pit cracked and pitted stone, obscured by a thin layer of death. Or dust. Above, etched into the wall, sits a sigil, a black bat with pointed wings and bright wet eye red eyes. Beneath it is a card message. I am Jeremiad, Lord of Death. The weak, the mighty, all are under my power. Speak my name, accept my touch. So if we do this... We get a buff, and we also get like a debuff, or the monsters get a buff. And I don't remember what this one does, here we go! You heal one health for every three damage you deal. You no longer heal any other way other than leveling up. So we only heal when we deal damage, and when we level up we heal to full health, but otherwise we won't heal up at all. So that's an interesting one. See it says you may not heal normally. Each three damage you deal heals you one point. So we'll just keep playing these. I mean, we didn't have to, we could just play, we could have just played the attack. Called it good. So if we do this, we don't heal up at all. Alright, this guy's level 7 elite, let's go after him. It's a storm giant, walks loudly and carries a big stick. He gets damage reduction 1, 2 health at the start of each turn, and whenever you play an attack card, deal 1 storm damage. So we'll, pl we'll give him some bleed, circle, and we'll do some of this. He's immune to, fra to air damage. Some backstab. We'll see what happens here. All right, circle, jab, and I guess dice. We don't have any other way of drawing cards. So what's resilience? Damage taking over three is reduced to three. New slice, slice. Crush. Uh, we'll crush this one. That's a good choice. Jab. Oh, we're out of we're out of actions. Here we go. An attack. Okay, so we get jab. Bleed. Dice. Backstab.
And I'm going to use this to prevent all damage. We'll crush his other weapon. I think he dies, though, because of the poison. Yes. Woo! That was good. Ah, no heals. So that means we have to fight the boss on, like, this low amount of health. So let's uh, go ahead and grab some stuff. So what's Jeremiad's Bracer? 10% chance of dodging your opponent's attack cards. Whenever you dodge, draw a card. Yeah, we'll do that. Those are too expensive. Those are also too expensive. I think we're just about done. So we'll go ahead and buy... If we get the XP, it won't give us enough to level up. It'll only take us to 28 out of 30. So we'll get the health. So we get, you know, it's an extra 5 health. Here's the Chromatic Demon. Elemental. Takes half damage from all elements. We'll see what happens here. Stone skin. Slice. Circle. Jab. Bleed. Take the bracer. I think dice. This won't do us as good. Oh, we did dodge something. Uh, we're pretty much going to be hosed. Unless we can get something really good here. What's this do? Next five damage that would be dealt to you is prevented and dealt to the other player instead. Oh, that's not that's not fun. We'll try this, though. This is on cooldown, so we're not able to do anything. Circle. Circle again. Jab. Bleed. Slice. More slice. Jab. Circle. Stone skin, I probably should have played that like twice. Should have played that first, I guess. And then this doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, we have no equipment. He has no equipment cards to get rid of. So we're gonna do just do some attacks. Do some backstabs. Slowly heal back up. We'll drop that. So I don't know how much good that'll do. We'll probably still die. Oh, we didn't? Yep, we died because of the poison. 197 score. So that was really good. Walk in the dungeon. Walk 500 steps. We'll find an additional health pack on each floor. Kill 20 creatures. Characters have one additional health. Defeat the vampire. Gain access to the Anticipate card. Pray at an altar. Gain access to the Desperate Talent. Buy all the items in the shop. Gain access to the Deck of Wonders. And to turn with 10 cards in play, gain access to the copy talent. Alright. So thanks for joining me on this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if it's something that you think you might be interested in, go give it a look. I'll include a link to the, to the green light page, which also has a demo there in the description. And um, if, you're also in, if you'd also like me to continue playing this. I'd be happy to keep playing this on the channel rather than just like in bed on my iPad. Um, yeah, if you would like to see more of this, just let me know and I'll be happy to play it. Like, But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.